Hello everyone, welcome back. Today's video is something a little different for my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Risa and I am a former makeup artist of more than 20 years. I upload makeup tutorials, fashion videos, product reviews. Even though I am not a licensed esthetician, I do sometimes talk about skincare and the things I do and don't do to try and stay looking youthful at age 49. Not that 49 is old, that is not what I'm saying. But if you are in your 40s and beyond, you know that every year that goes by, every decade that goes by, things change, in some cases dramatically. And not all of us want to go under the knife. Not all of us want to have Botox and fillers. If you are new here, you are probably wondering if I have had Botox and or fillers. And a lot of you probably feel like you knew the answer to that question as soon as I popped up on your screen. And I say that because people that have not heard me speak about what I have and haven't had done generally assume that I have had quite a bit of work done. So just to get this out of the way, I'm going to let you know that the only surgery I have ever had on my face or body was a rhinoplasty at age 22 and also breast implants at around age 30. I have had Botox in the past, I have had filler in the past, and I have not had anything injected into my face in more than two years. Anytime I have done anything, Botox or fillers in the past, I have posted about it. I even have a video here on my YouTube channel where I show the procedure and I have a Q&A with my injector Trevor. And I am very, very open and honest. I have absolutely no problem with or judgment towards anyone who chooses to do any sort of cosmetic procedure, be it under the knife or via injectables. I do not judge. I wish other women didn't judge. I understand being frustrated if you feel like someone's not being honest, but there's only so much we can do. I'm not a Kardashian. I don't understand why they lie about things that they have done. I too don't understand why anyone would lie about having work done. When I had lip filler, it was very obvious and I talked about it openly. I also talked very openly when I got it dissolved. Have they gone back to pre-filler days? No, they have not because I have since learned that those types of hyaluronic acid fillers, they boost your collagen production and they also don't always fully dissolve ever, which is why I will never get lip injections again. But that's not what this video is about. However, I did want to clear that up because I know a lot of new viewers will have questions. So now I want to get into the story of my two week neck transformation. Okay, a little backstory for you. About two months ago, I went out for dinner with some fellow influencers for my birthday. And of course, at a certain point in the dinner, I was blowing out candles on my birthday cake. And seated on both sides of me were two of my very good friends who are also YouTubers who were vlogging the dinner, meaning they were taking video on their phones. So one is on this side of me and the other is taking video from this side of me. And when they uploaded their vlogs and I saw myself from those angles, I noticed just how bad my neck and this area right here had gotten. I had always known that the neck and chest is where you really can't hide your age as well as your hands and of course around your eyes, but the neck is usually a giveaway. And I have always had a little bit of an extra something through here. It's just a family trait. And I always figured, well, when I get to be 50 or 55, maybe I will do a lower facelift something like that. Now we are always individually our own worst critics, but when I saw that vlog footage from both angles, it put my interest in having something done in high gear. So about a month ago, I was venting my concerns to my friend and fellow YouTuber, Stephanie Marie. I was telling her that I was thinking about maybe getting a consultation for a neck lift or lower facelift, and she said, why don't you try this first? And she forwarded me a video similar to this one that I'm recording right now, but from someone who is quite a bit younger than me. She had this dramatic two week transformation using a gua sha tool. So I'm not gonna lie, I didn't watch the video in detail. I just sort of fast forwarded through it and got the gist of what she was doing and decided to immediately order one of these from Amazon. I actually got this set with a jade roller. I haven't touched the jade roller, but I decided that I was going to go all in on the gua sha. I was going to do this twice a day. 
I did all of the steps that were shown in that video, which I will show what I do in this video, which is similar to what is shown in that video. Believe me, I was extremely skeptical. As someone who has been in the beauty industry for more than 25 years, I have seen so many products and gadgets that claim to be life-changing and make such a dramatic difference, and then I try them or others try them, and it's a complete fail. One thing I fully believe in, though, is consistency when it comes to using these gadgets and skincare products. You are not going to see results if you do not use these products consistently. So I had it in my head that I was going to use the Gua Sha tool morning and night, and that is what I did. And these, as you probably saw in the thumbnail, were my results. When I took that after picture, I texted the side-by-side -side photo to my friend Stephanie and said, am I crazy? Because I am seeing a significant difference. And she responded back that she too saw an incredible difference, especially for just two weeks of use. Now, unfortunately, I didn't take any video footage of me two weeks ago, but I have plenty of videos. You can click on and see what this area looked like before, but this is what it looks like now. Do I look like I had a complete neck lift? No, of course not. But this right here, these results have given me so much confidence. I truly feel like just that slightest improvement has made me feel just so much better. And I'm thinking that in another two weeks time, I will see even more dramatic results. And the icing on the cake for me was two days ago when I uploaded a video and someone actually commented. They left a comment stating, your neck is looking much firmer. Can you please do a video on what you've been doing? So the timing couldn't have been better. I responded to her and I said, you're in luck. I have a video coming very, very soon about what I've been doing and it is using this Gua Sha tool. So let me show you what I do morning and night. On clean skin, I take a couple drops of my Charlotte Tilbury facial oil. You can use any facial oil. I just happen to have this one on hand. So I put a couple of droplets in my hands, rub it on my face, and then starting at my chin in the center, I take the larger end of the Gua Sha tool and I place it right here. And then, without using a ton of pressure, I slide the tool up towards my ear, following my jawline. And then when I get to my ear, I do a little bit of a wiggle. Now I saw this on the other content creator's video, which is why I do it. I don't recall her expressing why that move is necessary exactly, but she does it, so I did it too. I just run it up the side towards my ear, do the little wiggle, and I repeat that 10 times on each side. And again, this is light pressure. You don't want to pull very hard, but you also don't want to have it be no pressure where you're really not even moving the skin. So you'll know what a good amount of pressure is for you. And then I take the tool and I run it up my cheekbones towards my temples to give this portion of my face a lift. I truly feel like my cheeks look more lifted. I do the jawline and the cheeks and then I move on to my neck. I use the flat side of the gua sha and I run it up my neck like so. And I do this 10 times as well. And then I really focus on this part right here which is my problem area. And in my mind, I am working out the fat deposits. Now in the video that I watched prior to starting this routine, it showed the woman taking the Gua Sha tool and going down her neck like so. And as I said at the very beginning, I didn't watch the video as intently as I probably should have, but I did question why she would go downward when we want everything lifted. So I don't always follow the rules or directions, even when I probably should. So I haven't been doing the downward strokes. I've just been going up, as I was saying, and really focusing on this area right here. And then, because I believe more is more, I go back and I do another 10 swipes on either side. So I guess you could say I do 10 to 20 strokes on each side, morning and night. And that's really it, that's all I've been doing. And I am really, really, if you can't tell, really happy with the results. And I will update you again 
and take some more progress photos. That is the most important thing when you are trying out a new skincare routine or a new facial tool. You want to get that before photo because I really did not expect to have the results that I did. It wasn't until I saw with my own eyes the difference that I was so just shocked and impressed and wholeheartedly believe in this tool. So I will link the one I purchased from Amazon down below in the description box. If you have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to leave them for me in the comments. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. If you would like to see more content from me, I do upload twice a week. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button and you'll become part of the Risa Does Makeup family. I also post content on Instagram and over on TikTok under the same username, Risa Does Makeup. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video.